I'm in Manchester at the moment. It's day one of rehearsals for the CBB's prom. So why don't we go and take a look at the BBC Philharmonic. I'm here with Gary and Tim and they play in the brass section of the Philharmonic Orchestra. First of all, what happened here and how are you playing that? Yeah, I had a bit of, an, bit of an accident with my arm. Um, but So I've got my trumpet on a stand right. like that so I can play it. I used to play in brass bands and then got into orchestras and yeah, it's the sound of brass. It's that bright, shiny, heroic sound. It's really nice because you can play louder than all the rest of the section. <laughs> <laughs> So Peter, as well as a composer, you also play the double bass. I do. How long have you been playing that? Wow, I've been playing the double bass for way over 40 years. It must be about 45 years now. I'm, I should be getting quite good soon, shouldn't I? <laughs> what is your favourite piece that you love playing? Um, I think that um, film music is, is, is really great for the trumpet. Um, it's one of the reasons that I wanted to start playing the trumpet in the first place because whenever you watch TV and film, the trumpet always has the best tune, always has the best moment, the heroic bits. Have you got a favourite? Um, I like Star Wars. Right. Oh, what about you? I think Jurassic Park was the reason I started playing the trumpet, actually. Yeah, was that's it? That's the first time I ever noticed the trumpet. Maybe I'll leave it to the experts. I actually started on the violin when I was seven, and then when I was 14, 15, I, I changed the double bass, and I've never looked back. I'm here with Ronan, and Ronan plays in the BBC Philharmonic. So what do you play, Ronan? I play the biggest string instrument, the double bass. The double bass. How did you get into it? Well, I started off as a boy chorister, singing in a cathedral choir, and then my voice broke, and having very little to do, having had loads to do, then I had very little to do, I got given a double bass. So you went from ah to oh, exactly. into double bass, very good. And is the double bass your favourite? Oh, I love playing the double bass, it's fantastic. I can't imagine trying to play any other instrument, it's a wonderful instrument to play, deep and sonorous, and it's the foundation of all music. <laughs> what do you like to sing in the shower? What's your favourite <laughs> song? I would sing anything in the shower. I like all sorts of crooner songs like Frank Sinatra. I listen to Coldplay on the, in the car on the way into work this morning. But I listen to Mozart opera on the way home. I'll listen to anything. A lot of the music we play at work is, is very serious. So afterwards when we get home, I need something a bit more light-hearted. So maybe Happy by Pharrell. You did a dance as well? Uh, with no one's watching. No, not, with, not, with yeah, not with that. Not with that. Well. <laughs> What about you, Tim? I like a little bit of older stuff, so I like stuff by the Rolling Stones and the Who. Oh, classics. I suppose um, one of the ones I hear a lot, because my daughter sings a lot, I, I hear all the songs from Wicked. So I'm kind of quite <laughs> up on Wicked at the moment. That's my favourite stuff. Do you like your musicals? I do actually quite like the uh, CBS theme tunes. And as we've been doing one today, we've been doing Swashbuckle. And that is a favourite of my children. So I'd probably have to go with that one. All right. Not Andy's Dinosaur Adventures, no? Uh, Maybe, maybe any oh, Wild Adventures? Maybe, Same tune, really. Maybe. Uh, the push? Uh, maybe the push. I'll be back in soon. Okay, okay. All, oh. right, all right then, you've convinced me, yeah. Brilliant. This is CBeebies on YouTube. Find even more fun and games for your child at the CBeebies website.